Hi guys, um, really didn't want to have to make this video today. Um, I've made a massa, massive a, um, mistake and I need to like talk to you about it. Um, it's, <laughs> it's hard for me to talk about. Um, so Bogey, um, the player Bogey has scored four goals this season. And at no point when he scored have I said, pick that one out. Um, it's an obvious joke. It's a funny joke. And it just didn't cross my mind until afterwards. Um, so, you know, I, 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 I understand if you need to unsub from the channel. Um, I totally get it. Um, there's a good chance I'm just going to be cancelled. Um at this point, and I accept that. I accept that. I've got to take full responsibility for not seeing the obvious joke, and uh, I just wanted to apologise. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. Thank you for, if you've got on this far, thank you for staying with me. Um, got a little update for you first. Um, a little house update. Uh, yesterday, I mentioned in the video that I was we were going to see a house. Um, we weren't sure if it was maybe a bit too small, but we're going to go and see it to, so we can get a better idea going forward and stuff. Um, we went to see said house, and it was everything we want in a house. The photos are terrible. Like, you know, there was a photo of the kitchen that made it look small. I was like, that kitchen's a bit small but they hadn't taken a photo of the other side of the kitchen or one of the bedrooms or the giant utility room or the big garage. It's amazing. So um, we will pro most likely be putting in an offer, which is which is scary. Um, <laughs> this will be my first house, obviously. Um, I've always wondered what to do to have a sort of something... I wanted to do something in the house that is a homage to you people that have watched my channel and supported in any way over the years since I started YouTube and I started Twitch. And I've come up with an idea because there's a there's like two lounges in the house. Obviously, this goes for any house. Not If we don't get this one, there's lots of things that can go wrong. I totally understand that. I used to be a mortgage advisor, so it's like I get, I get that. But I've decided that in the background, the wall of the background of the house will be a, I'll get like a custom wallpaper made. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put every single person's name that I can find that has ever supported me. So like current Twitch subs, um, YouTube memberships, uh, anybody that's ever supported me on Patreon um, and all those things. I'm just going to have a, like a, just a nice, like classy wallpaper with all the names across it because I wouldn't be able to get a house if it wasn't for you guys that have always supported me and stuff. Um, that also means that the um, long-awaited candles and m limited edition mugs, there's like 100, I think there's 100, maybe like 97 or something, um, will be coming out soon. So if you've got a few quid, I like that. These are handmade, special one-off candles that I made and a one-off mug that's never going to be reprinted. Um, and that they've been sitting there for ages. And um, obviously, don't really want to take them to the new house and I need to get off my ass and do that. But what I decided to do was rather than just sort of make a video saying, hey, here's my mug thing if you want to support me, I'm just going to, first thing I'm going to do is tell you guys in the middle of a video, of a journeyman video, just so the people that are currently watching this save and currently, you know, engaging in my content get first dibs. And then if there's any left over, then I'll mention it in other channels and on Twitter and stuff like that. So you guys get first dibs. So that'll probably be happening in the next few weeks. Right. And also, uh, sorry for last thing, um, with the potential house stuff going on, obviously it'll be a while before we actually move and stuff, but... I'm going to be doing things like, you know, surveys and solicitors and getting a mortgage and doing a ton of research and all these things. So I'll do my best to make sure we get your normal schedule of videos, but there will be the occasional day where it just doesn't happen. So I'm sure you understand that, but I just wanted to let you know. Right. Okay. Proper stuff. Forget all the real life boringness. We're all right. We're still 
Norse dominant. We've lost our first game against Ashanti Gold. Uh, they are. They were very good, to be fair. They deserved the win. But we bounced back against the Sharks, who I think are bottom of the league. Anaba and Eggy with the two goals. A draw. And then the, we smashed the Dwarfs 1-0. Uh, Dua getting the only goal for us there. So here's the league table. We're in, look, it's a four, it's a four team breakaway group. That's what's, that's what's happening now. And I'm okay with it because I'm in the four. Uh, this could be a solid season. We've got uh, two ashes. Um, Eggy's dropped off form a little bit, but Dua has come in and gone, yeah, I'll take over. I'll, I'll smash goals in if you like, boss. Um, he's had a few sub appearances. He had a start last game, get himself a goal and stuff. That's amazing. Uh, Bismarck has had a minor injury. Um, he's having his. By far his best season there, but we, IU steps up and he's very good as well. So it's not a problem on that front. We've been games have been coming thick and fast. This is the last month of absolutely crazy games. We've got eight games this month, um, including the cup, and then it and then it chills. Then it <laughs> got one game in June. Then it chills out a bit. So that's really good because. I'm having to rotate a lot, which is kind of fun. But if we have any injuries, it's worrisome. The goalkeeper's been doing really good. Um, Anaba's been absolutely superb. Uh, Gaffer has dropped off again. Maybe he's dropped off with Eggy. They're out pubbing, clubbing or something because they've fallen off a little bit there. Uh, Tete obviously is unregistered. All that good stuff. Today we are playing Beckham United and Wafu Wafa. Wafa Benitez, isn't it? Like, that's his team. That's so he took over. Uh, Bogey is suspended. I will be using the pick it out joke uh, when he does get his next goal, but I feel like he might have peaked. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, Junior has uh, had an sort of smallish injury as well. We'll bring him back on the bench. Uh, always know he's got to start because Ando is deadaged. We're being Scrooge on. All the centre backs have been performing solidly, so it's I've got four centre backs that I can pretty much just rotate until Tete gets in. He might be first choice. Yeah, it's all it's all looking rosy. Uh, so Beckham are seventeenth, and Wafa Benitez is tenth. All right. I also have a question of the day for you because I find this a genuinely interesting question. So you know the stuff that's been going on with Man City, right? Looks like the thing we all knew for the last 10 years, they've done a bit of cheating, haven't they? They've done a bit of cheating. They've had a little diddle, financial fair play stuff. I'm not going to... It's alleged. We don't know if... what It's like 100 charges. We don't know what's true and not and stuff like that. But let's just assume, because it's true, let's just assume that they're guilty... What punishment, what punishment would you want to see? It's a real weird one. They can't find them because it's really, finding, finding a billionaire is ridiculous. That's like finding me a pound for spending 10 pounds. I'm like, okay, great, right? My beard is all, I'm going to have to have a full trim. I'm going full homeless. I was trying to grow it out, but it's just, it's got a mind of its own at this point. Um, So that you can't do that, right? Doc points, ooh, Con Coney. Doc docked points. I feel like is a is a given, right? Is a, is at the minimum, right? But that's just like okay. So you dock them points. It's going to take ages before this is even settled. So let's say next season they start the season with minus fifteen points. Okay, worst case scenario, they miss Champions League for one season, but then they're just back in it next season, right? It's when you're a billionaire. It's not vital that you need to get Champions League football, you know? So, hmm. Obvious, another option is relegations. You know, chuck them down to League Two. Oh, my God, lads. Yes, win it back. Chuck them down. Oh, my God, we've fallen apart. Ref's got in the way. That's a ball. Oh, he's missed a header. Oh, like relegation down a division or three or whatever. But I feel like that's almost points deductions in a way, in that it just means that you set them back for a couple of seasons, but they've got loads of money, so they'll just be the biggest teams in those leagues until such point they get back into the league, into the Premier League, and carry on. I th for me, I'd like to see some sort of either European ban for X amount of years. Um, hang on. Not been our best first half, lads, to be honest. Okay. Eggies. 
knows he's not first choice now, so I'm feeling like he's going to come back and do some bits. Everybody else is okay. I would like to, if it was possible, to have some sort of European ban for X amount of seasons because that does hurt them because they're all about winning. Go on. Go on, Eggy. Go on, Eggy. Go on, Eggy. No, it got blocked. Because they're so desperate to win the Champions League, right? So that actually hurt, punishes the team. Um, and also some sort of transfer restrictions. I think, I feel like that's the, and this is not me being a biased Liverpool fan. We had a talk about it. Let's say, because I, I don't want them stripped of their titles. Because you could argue that if they didn't cheat, Liverpool would have won more titles. But that's like a pity. I wouldn't want that. I don't mind them being stripped, but I then don't want it to be, oh, open top bus tour for Liverpool. Because, you know, I might, it's my eight, seventh minute. I might have forgot to make some. Uh, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't want that. That would be, that would feel really weird. Uh, I think Aboa Aboa is about to go on international duty. <clears throat> so I, I promise you, it's not me just being like a bitter Liverpool fan because that's not why I'm. And I know people say the ship has already sailed. Look at all these teams getting away with stuff and stuff. But you've got to draw the line somewhere. You can't just go, well, oh, fuck it then. Just get on with it. Do what you want. It's too, we, we left it too long. There, there needs to be a line in the sand. Just just behind the stadium there. <sighs> That's rubbish. I'm going to thrash my arms. Oh! Um, it's your fault for watching on YouTube. You've spooked them. Right. But yeah, I just feel like there should be... There's got to be a punishment that actually hurts Manchester City. And it's it's sad for the fans that have been City fans for 20 years or whatever. But it was just... It was the same for Rangers, wasn't it? Most Rangers fans didn't do anything wrong. They just happened to be at a club that was messing about, right? Right, okay. Waffa. Bounce back. Uh, okay, that's fine. I think he's on international anyway, so that's that's okay. We need to bounce back. We're going to be fine. Yes, yeah, so let me know. You are in charge of the FA. You get to decide the punishment within reason. You can't just, like, dissolve the club or something like that. Let me know in the comments. And I find this conversation fascinating. Right. Okay, we need to focus now. That's what it was. You know, I was not focused. Right. I guess he's not going on international then. Okay. Right. We have some slight fitness issues. That's okay. Uh Second string centre back partnership can come in. Vemper can come in. Um, let's give the almighty Bismarck a game. And then. Uh, Bogies. Oh, okay. We're playing his parent club, so he's not playing. That's fine. You can come in. Uh, right. Gaffer and Eggy. Okay. I know you've had a little couple of weeks, couple of roughly weeks, all right? I need you to come in, do some of the bits, okay? Bring on the bench. Right, okay. Oh, Thomas Jr. is not doing it, is he? He's not doing it. Let's have a little word with him. Not going to have a go. He's a young lad, record signing, big price tag on his shoulders. Just don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. Is it a drought if you've never had one? Like, is it a goal drought if you've never had a goal? That's quite a highbrow question, I think. Right, come on, lads. Another nice thing. Uh, we re beat our record home attendance a few games ago, which was nice to see the club growing because we need money. Uh, haven't looked at the finance in a few weeks. It's, it's not good. Right, come on, lads. Bounce back. We don't want to get dragged. Look. The main group is going to catch up. We want to stay in this top four. Unless we can do some sort of magic in the uh, January transfer window, which is hard to do with nothing, not exactly nothing, then I don't think we're going to have a, a championship push this season. But, you know, they want to top off. We're giving them top off. Not bad, volley. Come on, lads. Loki's angry at that. Lokes, don't do it. Loki, just withhold the bark just for one time. Like, be a, a special gift to me. 
don't bark at random things you hear. Just this minute. Ooh. Is that not a pen? Harsh. Harsh. Come on, lads. Don't fall apart. Don't fall apart. This season has been so good. It feels weird that this... I like there's so many people in the comments going, this feels weird that it's going this well. <laughs> I know. I've got to ride the wave of luck. I feel like, oh, nice ball from Bismarck. Junior cuts it back and Eggy just misses a sitter. Goes straight to the goalkeeper. He's gone early. Oh, that was a nice build-up as well. <sighs> eggy, eggy, eggy. Yeah, our shooting has not been good enough. All right, Doyle's coming on. Uh, this one's on a yellow. He's not coming off because we've got nobody that can remotely play in that position. No, we, can, eh. no, but we have no right-backs. No, okay. yeah. You can play them well. Carry on, Bismarck. Definitely not keeping you on because I've got nobody to replace you. All right, Mohammed launches one. Junior, good first touch. Come on, Junior. That's a ball. That's a ball. Get in there. A little bit lucky. Took a little deflection off a defender. Go on, Junior. Dwar oh, with a tap in. It's a good first touch. It just clipped. Was it this guy? And it just sort of fell perfectly. Yeah, it just fell perfectly in the path. Still counts as assist, though, right? Yes, Junior. Yes. Don't immediately give it away. We've been playing well this game. Get into him. Yes, Sanaba. Bismarck. Oh, that's nice. Needs a bit of support. Cutbacks there, Junior. Sarfo. Maloney. Bismarck. Lovely ball. Yes! Both of the. Bastards. Absolute bastards. Absolute bastards. <laughs> okay. Oh, Bismarck. He was so excited then for a minute. Right. Fitness, fitness, fitness. Okay, we've got a dead centre back. Handful's coming on. Uh, how's it go? Gaffer, come on, man. You've got seven assists in your first ten games. I'm going to give Scrooge half an hour. He's not really played. He's untested. Get 20 minutes, mate. What can you do? Impress me. <laughs> Why? He's just had his... A good game. That could be anything. Could have fallen off. Oh, boobies. That is a shitty tits moment. <sighs> okay, don't be a bad injury. Get, like, finish 1 0. Please don't be a bad injury. <laughs> Six minutes added on. How we've only scored one goal, I don't know. But we bounced back with a win. Come on. That was a good performance. Should have scored another goal, but they barely had a sniff all game long. Right, please. Please. I'll take... I'll make a... I'll say... I'll take two weeks. No, two, a week. I'll accept... No, I'll accept two weeks as an injury. Okay? I'll make a deal with the devil. I'll accept two weeks. I'll take two weeks right now. Here we go. Here we go. Be good. Be good. Be good. Oh, man, just got man of the match. I thought this. I thought that was this game. I'm like, 10 key passes, this game. <laughs> oh. Uh... <sighs> Don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. It was a great performance. You got us three points. It was on the telly. Right, let's have a quick look at finances. Yeah, that's bad. We can still spend another 700 quid as well. It's bad, isn't it? It's bad. Hang on, what's the, what's the prize money for the league? Uh, oh. Let's say... Is there no... I'm assuming there's other prize money. <laughs> like it's a... Let's say we get... Oh, is that just 302k for just being anywhere between second and... God damn. God damn. Okay. Well, I don't think it's that, but it will be, if we can finish, even if it drops down every place, it probably says somewhere, but I can't be asked to read. Uh, then it's like 250 for fourth, even sort of 220 for fifth. I'll take that because that could potentially write off the debt at the end of the season and allowing a coaching badge. 
Just if need to find... Oh, no, why? Oh, God. This is the problem. We lose all our best players because we keep playing their parent clubs. Oh, the old Accra Lions who are struggling. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Wish me luck on the house stuff because there's so many things that could go wrong. Like the survey discovers asbestos in the roof. Or I'm lucky I'm not in a chain, so that's good. But they might decide to sell to a mate of theirs. Or take it off the market. Or weird mortgage stuff. There's lots of stuff. But fingers crossed. The I've contacted an internet. Because it's a bit rural. But there's a small company that does internet. That's possible and they so i'm trying to get a like definitive speed from them rather than their broadband speed checker because that's as random as anything um and it, they also say it'll take between four to six weeks to install it which means i'll probably just my missus will move in i'll stay here for and that's so i can keep making videos and all that sort of stuff um and then just gradually move so it's just an extra month of rent and mortgage but that's fine i can deal with that right there we go wish me luck thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.